Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, That's and right. that is Mike. What? Yes, it is. T take your time. <laughs> So I'm always debating on what to like, how to start this off, you know. So I'm, I'm like driving, <laughs> and I'm like thinking of ideas. I'm like, should I just like acknowledge the fans? Do I need to say what's up, Chris? You know. So it's so when time, I say I those words, don't that's don't be, Mike. Yeah, I can just be like something. Yeah, I don't you know, can, I'm gonna you have to work on something. It. But then, I, but then I throw sometimes I throw that wrench in there, and I say that's Mike, and I'm Chris. Yeah, and I'm Chris, and, and, you're and like, then I. Ah! Don't, yeah, ah! so I'm gonna come up with something for, to, to answer that. Uh, yes, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. This is season uh, ten, season mid season ten. finale. Oh, mid, I hate it. I, I didn't even put it in the. I'm not putting it in the title, and I'm not putting it on the thing on the screen. It's the world before. It's episode eight. I don't care if it's yes. mid season thing. Although, however, Mikey, yes. I'm gonna ask you, mm. but first I'll say to you, mm -hmm. uh, I I I actually kind of like this episode. What did you think? I, I like this episode also. We got a lot of um, – I, th I mean, we got a, the backstory for Dante, which was cool. I like seeing that. Um, we have this uh, mystery man, Virgil, which is um, maybe interesting. And I know you asked me if, if Virgil was from the comic, and I wasn't sure. So anybody listening, watching, let us know in the yeah, comments. Yeah, we didn't do the research, so go for yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. So you can be our research. Also, um, I'm also wearing a gray shirt on my gray background, and I just realized that. Know, I'm sorry, that. guys. It's, it's okay. just I'm going to be a floating head. That's very unprofessional. I don't really yeah. give a shit. Uh, here's <laughs> but, the thing. Uh, yeah, a, yeah, a lot. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. There was a lot of um, – I mean, Carol kind of is putting the group in love, some – Love Carol. Love Carol. Carol, this this season, I think she's an idiot. But I'm just, I have been enjoying. She made the, the wrong shit. move. And how long? Dude. Like when they run into the cave, right? When somebody's <laughs> running into the cave, and then eventually Daryl walks in all slow. Right. And he yeah. Falls they... down, and everybody's down on the ground. So every, what it would have been like, blink. Yeah. Or blink. <laughs> yeah, or... it would have been like lemmings, dude. Yeah, they just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, there ah! you go. Yeah. yeah. So. It was, uh, yeah, Carol got them in a pickle, Listen, you know, they get, down look, in this uh, cave. Look, we, you know, we, we complain and everything, and, and, and it's, uh, it's funny. Fun. I mean, I liked it. It's I still, liked it there's too. always you know, little things that you can nitpick. Recently, uh, 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 Daryl, uh, um, Norman Reedus is, was on uh, ID10 podcast with Chris Hardwick. That You know, that's his, his, his talk show podcast or whatever and he's and he was basically saying like you know f f fucking fans like stop fucking messaging me and saying you didn't like this you didn't like that or this and that and this and that but yeah. you know whereas i you know i agree if, if someone's going to come on here and 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 rip them apart without particular reason or the or the just being assholes like sure but then you have you know like us oh sorry him i'm like you know what yeah you know we're we're fans we watch the show i think i you know i i hope we try and be critical you know, we give praise, we give jabs where we wear, you know, things. And, you know, so I just want to put that out there because I was listening to that this week and I was like, yeah, you know, is what we do that? Are we like assholes on the Internet? I mean, we are. I, mean, I don't think I think we're, but, I think, like you said, I think we're really kind of truthful and critical. Passionate. When we, yeah. When we you know, actually, Hardwick said that too. Hardwick, Hardwick kind of defended um, the, the masses by well, saying, you know, people yeah, are panicking his, about it. But that's his job. I mean, honestly, if I was if I was an actor on the show and I especially Norman Reedus being one of the lead characters and you feel that you're you're doing a fantastic job and you feel that the season has gone um, tremendously and all you hear is people like ripping it or not. You know what I mean? It's it's got to be frustrating. So I don't necessarily blame well, yeah, it's that, also, but yeah, I think it's that a lot of very specific. In, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I absolutely I agree. And I think it's the very specific nitpicking that is like, yeah. all right. You know, you, well, some things are due. Some you know, things but need to be. What I what I think is so. I found this. I found this to be a very strong episode. Yeah. I I enjoyed what happened. Although again, there were some, there were just some like dumb dialogue choices. Well, then, and like, let's let's start with. But so before we then then if you enjoy what 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 did you enjoy the most? I um I what was what got you? You know, overall this, this... I enjoyed. I you know I love a good flat. You know I love. Last week we had a problem with what does water and how did they decide and blah blah blah. And then, oh, and then we kind exactly of that. we figured out what happened. Yeah, we, yeah, I mean we you know we kind of figured it out last week, but we saw what happened this time. Yeah, you know we saw Dante and his his backstory very briefly, which I enjoyed having it all in one go. Just fucking yeah. one whatever, fine. You know he's like oh just, you know sucking up to Alpha whatever. He becomes yeah. this, that, this, you know, does all these things. He killed the woman. You're like, okay, he's a piece. He was always a piece of crap. 
Um, yeah. I en- really enjoyed the scene with him and Rosita. I thought it was really cool. Like he was just like, he 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 dropped the pretense very quickly and was like, I right, I'm sorry, I got I got to kill you, yeah. right? And she just, it was good to see Rosita not just being laid up and crying or 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 put. You know, I miss seeing Rosita. You well, know, it's the ba- it's the baby. You know, too. Like yeah. he was he was holding her down. So that's Sadiq. The Walker. So that was pretty. That was well, that was a very yeah. intense scene. I I enjoyed that very much. And then it was. she beats the it shit out the baby, of him. That was yeah, great. with the baby crying. She takes care of business. And it's also, I mean, briefly, Rosita in this. She has. She's. I mean, she's talking with Eugene, and, she, and Eugene kind of saves her ass there a little bit when she goes out on the other side. I of the didn't ball. realize she had the spiked knuckles. I'm like, is she punching yeah. these things in the That's face? That's like still like a risky weapon. Well, remember the thing went to go bite yeah. her, and she just left her shoulder like. And yeah. then later on, she's like, I can't die. I can't die. Well, I mean, what was the point of that then? And look what happens you when you weren't in love with him. Ships. Yeah. And look what happens when characters start saying the, that word and start worrying about yeah. things like that and start gaining new relationships and romances. And, and things. I thought she was with the. Yeah, I thought maybe, she was with the. Maybe it's a anyway. foreshadowing of what may happen to Rosita in the future. But yeah, she's been. She, she still wants to be. Um, I think she says. Uh, before uh, Coco, I could handle. I could could have handled those four walkers mm-hmm. like like nothing, something like that. Right. You know, she had, she says. So um, yeah. So she has her own struggles. Obviously, you know, her baby daddy is is gone, and we'll see what happens with her. And... I think they were starting to do a little. But the thing, the other thing too is, I man, I'm glad that that fourth, you know, that love triangle plus one is now not that. I, I'm. I'm happy about that. It looks like in the coming rest of the season, you know, uh, uh, Eugene might get a little nookie from her. It looks like. I don't know if you watched the, the preview. Yeah, I did the say. Next I season, did so. say. I don't know. I don't know if I mean. Ugh, I don't necessarily think I'm going to enjoy anything like that. I prefer, um, you know, I th- the whole Gabriel. Eugene's like they didn't drink. have to do anything with Gabe. That's the thing. I yeah. that's that's one of those things where it's like, what's the what's the point of doing that? It's just awkward and a waste of like screen time and dialogue when you could have put something else i will say however one of the other things that annoyed me at first was when gabriel goes and visits dante in the cage and i'm like but oh i'm okay this man killed so many people with his bare hands and you're walking into the cage and then he stabs him so i was like all right he planned on doing that the whole time which is why he was in there he was prepared for that so gabriel was prepared for that inevitability of whether he'll get him or he's gonna get him so i'm like okay 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 but but in but at the beginning of the scene, that's where I was like, oh, come on. Why are you walking in it's, with it's a killer? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like that's the, those are the things that I'm like story wise. Like, I don't I don't appreciate that one. But well, I can I can kind of answer that for you because Seth Gilliam was on uh, Talking Dead and they asked him that. Like, oh. what was both characters were on Talking oh, Dead. Oh, yeah, I didn't Don, see that. Okay. Dante and, and, and uh, Gabriel. So basically they explain that um, as as the character of Dante, he doesn't necessarily see um Gabriel as that kind of threat. So it doesn't necessarily think that when Gabriel entered the cell that he was going in there oh, of course to do that. Now the actor uh so maybe that's why uh he didn't necessarily think Gabriel was coming with a knife or has a, a knife hidden or well, anything. Well yeah, right. So um Gabriel the char- the the actor had said that um he may not have thought that he was going to go in there initially killing oh. this this man, that he was almost hoping that maybe he would run for the gate, and then that would be a better excuse for him. That would give him, him a reason to be like, he tried to, to escape. To yeah. say, he tried to escape, I had to stop him. Oh, he could Because initially, this way. is supposed to be like a trial by... Um, Peers uh, and shit. Yeah, yeah. with everybody, mm-hmm. and everybody has well, to make Well, he said it. He said it. That was part of his plan. It was, it was. So that was really it. So it's basically that Dante may not have thought of Gabriel as someone to do that at this time, and and remember, Dante lived with these guys for a while. So four months, by yeah. staying with them for a few months or four months or whatever it's been, uh, you you can gauge who is the person that you know you come You're to least, blows right, with, yeah, right, or, right. or someone that's a little bit more meek and and mellow. So that's kind of they answer that question. Okay. So just to kind of answer that for you. All right. Well, look, you know, so at this point. I, I was you know, surprised. I, I was surprised by. I was too. I was like, yes. I was like, finally. You know, I was like, that's yeah, good. It's I, been a so, while since he's done. That's, I mean, have you really ever seen him? I don't think he's ever killed a he, like a person. Well, right? besides the, besides his congregation, who he didn't let in. 
in, in the but first by his own phys- by his own yeah. hands and so it shows his love for um Rosita, Rosita mm-hmm. and 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 Sadiq and because he Sadiq, said Sadiq was yeah, my brother you know my brother yeah that so it was triangle. it was powerful that stuff there was a lot of I enjoyed it moments especially right off in the beginning because those tend to have been uh toward mm-hmm. the beginning of the episode with the Rosita and Dante so and Gabriel right so I, I I enjoyed that um yeah. we get so uh, I, I just want to talk about Aaron and and uh Gamma for a second mm. did you did did you believe that I I I did because what that she where I believe that she was I I think that it was true but I think that Alf is watching her yeah because she's always looking every time Gabba steps onto that bridge she's always looking she looked before um right before she removes her mask when Aaron says you know I'm only talking to you with your mask off so yeah uh, I I definitely think that that uh that that's a possibility that that there's always someone if not Alpha maybe another Beta I or think whoever. yeah, I think that's where they were, and I yeah. think I I you know obviously the coming attractions if you've seen it, yeah. for the, you know say hey you know they're like she goes and tells them that hey your friends are trapped in this cave with the horde that's where they're keeping the horde, I think they moved the horde I think that's where it was they were they had and a little then, intel and she moved maybe them so, yeah and exactly. you know so going back to Carol mm. uh you know I um. I wrong decisions. Did but, you all right? Did you think that she was initially going to listen to Daryl when they no, first had a little hard? No. Heart? Um. I mean, she was crying. I mean, she made it believable. I, I think, think it was good either, Well, it could have done this. It could have been. It could have been. Yes, she was going to, or no, she was crying because she knew she was going to disobey him again. Very true. But Very then, true. you know what? Maybe let's just say, let's just say, for argument's sake, she was mm. going to listen to Daryl and she was going to give it up. But then when she saw her. It just sparked it. Done. Yeah. And Alpha okay. was preying on that. And, 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 and yeah, and it happened. It happened exactly yeah. way, you know. So that so that sucked. Um, them being trapped in a cave, I don't know. How do you feel about that? I don't know. It's like. I mean, it's we never really seen anything I like guess, that before. Yeah. Uh, which is which is interesting. I don't know why. Look, you know what? I Like, I don't know why. I guess I'm just. I, I guess. Maybe because that's gotta it's be been... some big ass. That's gotta be a big ass cave. No, well, it is to have the the thousands of walkers in it. But, you know? but what I'm what I'm trying to say is personally, I you know I I apologize for being like, I just can't. My my initial reactions now with this show is to see something as a negative and not as something cool anymore. Mm. And I don't I don't necessarily like that. But I just you know it's it's just the way for me personally. It's been these past seasons, like the past mm. couple of seasons, were just kind of like ah not great for me you know uh you know so 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 yeah it is it is it interesting of course it is it you know when when they fought in in Wu assassins when they fought inside of a cave you know what i mean like it's the same situation it's mm. it, it, it's you know so i'm not really trying to be a dick about it but yeah well they're I'm, trying they're trying they're trying to always give us listen the show's been on this is its 10th season so and especially with angela kang that was like her main yeah reasoning for uh, it is, when she took over is give us something new like, let's experience something new look the season started out with the satellite right that was the first yeah. episode right mm-hmm. so we never we never had really those glimpses of what else is out there and um it is again it's something different by them being trapped in this cave so let's see uh, from the coming attraction look, looks kind of interesting because there was a separate one it on is cool talking dead and yeah it is it is cool it, it is it is a it is a and that's why I was saying that's that's why I was just being like, like out loud saying like, why am I? That is that is it is a cool thing to happen because that's a scary thing to be I trapped think the in. The way a, of getting the way they got down there was the kind of silly, yeah, it was silliest kinda silly. thing. Um, I uh, but you know, anyway, you knew that yeah. you know, yeah, you knew something was obviously going to happen. I want to talk about Michonne because. Um, you know, and and I was reading some articles and seeing, seeing some reviews for the episode, and it's like you know they. Look, look, it's it's hard when we all know that a character's leaving because it it makes whatever hap whatever is going to happen to them less effective. You know, it happened with and- Andrew Lincoln and Rick, you know, it's just it's like it doesn't it, it doesn't really mean what it should mean. So Michonne's going to leave by the big end of this season. Is she going to go and get these guns and they're going to start a war? The war is going to start on the mainland with our main groups. 
and then she's going to show up and save the day with some type of explosives or heavy weaponry, right? And then, or is she going to have to be the last, you know, woman standing holding the detonator because it, because it's the only way to stop it. <laughs> so those are good. Those are good. Uh, you know, and the other thing <laughs> too is, is she going to gonna die or I thought she was going to be in these movies or something with Rick or was that all just hearsay? No, no, that's, I mean, uh, so she's I don't know if they ever mentioned that they, that she would be involved in any of the movies. I, I mean, guess I it must've just, just been the, like the, the theory for, stuff for another there, character. Guess, yeah. Um, for another character to go off the way Rick did as like a mystery and um, not for the viewer because we obviously know Rick is still alive but but for Michonne to say go off and do something and then have a movie about it I think it's too repetitive so I don't think I think she's gone um, it's going to be sad because she has RJ which we didn't really see much of I mean and Judith is uh, like kicking ass so it kind of sucks that she, Judith which is a great character. Oh, she was great she, this episode. I love. Yeah, her. she's she's, she's taking so care good. Of she she chews up those scenes, man. She's so good. Yeah, she she is. Yeah, that's and fantastic. to have her father gone now, her her mother, you know, with Michonne leaving, Carl not there. Where the hell's kinda, RJ, bro? Well, RJ in the end, in the end. Um, but where saw, is he in this episode? Who has him? Daryl was holding him at the um, funeral. Oh yeah, Daryl was in the back. So, he so like, he's with someone. At, okay, he's okay, he's okay. getting taken care of, obviously. But, yeah. that's, but I was like, my whole my whole point is 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 that it kind of sucks for this for this Judith oh, character God, to not have. It's horrible, you know. So it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Um, we talked about this initially when Rick was leaving. Remember how we were talking about how we knew he was going? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. And how are yeah. they going to play that out? And, and does it ruin it if we already know that he's going? I remember I, well, saying, that's, that's my point, dude. I think, yeah. I think yes. Yeah. I think it... Remember back in the well, day? No, we didn't know initially when or how, obviously. Right, but... Is she going to be in three more episodes? Is she going to be in two more episodes right. of, the, of the back eight? But, so, but let me ask you a question. Does it matter yeah. to you? Does it matter? Because you know now. But so I think is it, it going to have the same more, impact? Yeah, because remember when the show first started, people were dropping and you were like, holy shit. That's like, my point. I love that. We didn't know that. Herschel was yeah, going to be killed that, by the governor. And, or, and that's part. And, and, yeah. and here we go, guys. This is That's part of the reason why the show is criticized we can't, we care about the way it so it, much. That's right. why. But, but, but when you go ahead and you let everybody know a year and a half in advance or some shit that it's a main a character is going to leave you're 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 now taking the exact thing that you that the show was was precedented on and and made a name for itself on yeah. is that you know, no one was safe you, no character exactly was safe. and now it's like oh well we know that this main character is going to leave so i'm at the point where i'm just like well then i don't really care how it happens because i know like at this point, it's like it's not a surprise, and it's like it's very it's disappointing because it, why yeah, can't you keep that shit to yourselves? Why it's not? Very, it's, it's very true. It's, she could have told the walk the AMC, you know, and not us as a fan uh, given that information. Like, but it's, exactly. So why why not? Yeah. Why the hell did you have to say anything? It doesn't yeah, make any sense know. to me. I don't know. It would have been it would have been much more of a shock if and now we with Michonne leaving know, and blah blah blah, and it's yeah. like, come on, man. If we didn't know that was the last time we were going to see Rick, or uh, that that would have been on the bridge, yeah, we dude. Holy shit! Or um, if 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 Virgil doesn't turn out to be this guy that we think he he is, um, maybe he double crosses her. Like right. who knows? Right. Uh, I'm not really leaning towards that. I think Virgil's kind of a straight up dude, but um, I think without Virgil and these weapons. Uh, these weapons are going to play big time. So like you said, well, maybe Michonne yeah, gets she comes them. back, saves the day. She's and... barely, get, you know, maybe she dies doing something with Virgil and Virgil brings them back. Maybe, yeah. You know, as maybe. No, they're going to get a family. final goodbye. We're going to get a final goodbye. She kind of like think? said goodbye to, to Judith this episode, but I think we're going to, we're going to have to get, yeah. listen, you're going to have to wrap up that character story. You can't just have her die off screen. That's you know what I mean? Like that's not, it, not necessarily die off screen, but maybe not um, be be the one to to have that final word with her daughter or something. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. I don't think we'll I don't we'll think see. they'll do that. With but with I do. Her, do you but... trust? Do you trust Virgil? I mean, I trust him. I mean, at As this point, fan. yeah, I'm gonna say yes for that character. I do. Uh, 
I want to save. Uh, he did save. What's his name? The hell's his name? Uh, Dan Fog- Fogler, but uh, his name is. Uh... Oh my god! Was it on the show? Uh, oh my god! Sorry, I forget. I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't remember. I know the actor. I mean, he's yeah. all right. Like, I'm not a bit, you know, we haven't seen his, much. I'm not of... going to look it up. It doesn't matter. You can tell. So. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he's, so... he's, he's one of the, yeah, like, dude, the new characters are, I'm not, like, it, you know what's interesting is I still feel, other than Kelly and her sister, Connie, yeah. Connie, I feel like the other ones aren't even really there, you yeah. know, which, which sucks. I don't like, I don't like Magda's character. I never liked her character, even in the comic. Yeah. Um, Kumiko, um, I like her character, yeah. played by you know Ele- Eleanor Matsura. But I, and and Dan Fogler's character, oh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> I kind of his real name, so you can maybe spark. I, yeah, exactly, or... exactly. Uh, I I I I kind of like him. I kind of like yeah. him. He he's a yeah. little bit of, he's what Eugene he's okay. was before Eugene yeah, became he, I mean, like he's... really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. They yeah. had a cool little. They had a, some cool little. Um, uh, he had some cool uh, dialogue back and forth with the Judith character too. Yeah, right, right, yeah. And stopping at the library for them and and that whole thing. There's there's one co- um, little theory going around now. Remember, he had that kind of like, not a fling because we didn't see him with this girl, but the one Oceanside girl. Yeah, right. At one, at one point, and some other some some theories are going around. I think it was ComicBook.com, and they were just talking about how um, could that girl. Um, be a whis- uh, a whisper a spy as well a whistler because whistler obviously a whistler. <laughs> um alpha has her her spies all all over so yeah. a lot of people are also thinking that she may be a spy as well maybe um in in oceanside but we'll see what well, happens. that's the thing you don't know now you don't know now and and she's yeah you listen alpha's a conniving a-hole mm-hmm. um what else anything else yeah no i mean i think uh, i think yeah, we kind of covered um shooting over my bullets here I while you're looking, I'll just say I did I did enjoy this episode. I, you know, I I really did enjoy what you know think. Uh, uh, yeah, some good stuff. There was some good stuff this episode. There was some there was some good yeah. dialogue. There was some, you know, there's some interesting choices. Uh, there's some it, powerful scenes there again. Yeah, you know, I, I, I I I enjoyed Gabriel. it. It opened strong. I I just you know yeah I I enjoyed it. Although the mid seasons are usually pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know well. <clears throat> on Talking Dead, um, uh, Gabriel, the ca- the the actor Seth, um, Gilliam, Seth, yeah. Seth Gilliam says that uh, this this these first eight were were like a were a culmination, getting everything set, getting that chessboard uh, all ready to to check me. The rest you of know, the war, yeah. so this next eight, he says, are supposed to be like something like we've never seen, like the, like he says action. You know, action, uh, reaction, action, reaction, action, reaction. All the episodes. Okay. So, okay. <clears throat> that's what he says. Uh, I know. February, you know, dude. That, yeah, February twenty second. Bloody I think they hell! Said. Bloody hell! So we have some time. To, so we have uh, some time, right? So, so what's going to happen on this channel, guys? Is we're going to go not. We're not going to go dark per se. We are going to take a little hiatus as Walking Dead is taking a little break. We are going to take a little break. Obviously, we're not going to have the Walking Dead. Um, you'll probably, you know, you might hear from us with a few things here and there. Um, you know, it's, it's the holidays and, you know, my job really kicks up and I, you know, it's, it's hard for me to, to get anything watched, you know, um, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I moved the house during the summer, so we're, you know, I'm still working on the house and doing stuff here and it's busy. It's, it's busy. a, it's a busy time <laughs> of year. So, we're, so I think we're going to take a little bit of a break. Like I said, if there's anything going down, if there's any we'll special still get little some things, stuff out yeah, there, maybe just not every single week. Like yeah. So, you know, you know, so, you know, so, you know keep an eye out, you know, and, um, if Try. you're watching this the week of the, per, you know, the mid season, whatever, uh, yeah. you know, whoever celebrates Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, you know, absolutely. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy, happy enjoy holidays. the holidays. You know, I hope exactly, you get some yes. good stuff from Santa Claus. And, you know what? Uh, I think we're gonna do a giveaway. I think we'll do a giveaway. You want to so drop a giveaway when? Yeah, you want to we'll do it do next a, month? We'll a little closer to Christmas. Couple weeks. Couple yeah, weeks? A little okay. Closer to Christmas, we'll do a nice little giveaway. Obviously, for all the support that you a guys. Holiday giveaway. Yeah. Sounds good. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done one of those. We also have some. We also have a nice little. Um, we'll give you a little little treat here. A little uh, tidbit. 
Chris and I are working on something. Well, a lot of Chris Chris is doing, uh, especially <laughs> the editing and all this kind of uh, part of the graphics and whatnot. We want to do something special for Badlands. Yeah, it's been a while since the show's on, and we have something really nice in store for yeah, that. We've been kind of working so, on a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So look out, look for that if you're Badlands fans. Um, I mean, it's <laughs> it's a sad sad uh, time sometimes when we mention that show because people loved it so much and we enjoyed. Badlands as well. We enjoyed them, so, and, and we enjoyed the time that. that we spent with the people that they we're were on our show, and exactly. we did the trivia show. And yes, so check all that. You know, that kind of dropped off. Out. You know, that kind of dropped off, and I'm kind of like, ah, I wish I did because we had a couple people lined up to continue to do it, but things just got in the way. The Walking Dead started again, and then you know, it seemed like, you know, because for the Badlands guy, the actors and the creators, like they were, it was, it's been months now since they had. Or not then, even at the time, since they were in the Badlands, yeah, and they were all moved on to other things, with assassins and you know all the, you know building cars, you know Daniel yeah. Wu, <laughs> Sherman's doing a movie, you know was doing the movie, and so oh, yeah. you know so lots of good Just, stuff. But anyway, look for that, look for that stuff. I that, mean, we yeah, definitely want to get that out. Um, so like I said, we might not be doing a review show every week, but those they still will be content uh, from us until uh, further notice. But and uh, again, listen. Let us, you know, yes. not to cut you off, but let us, you know, guys, during, you know, let us know your holidays plans, what's going on. If you're watching anything good, if you guys are watching The Mandalorian, if you guys are watching, yeah, you know, Watchmen on HBO, yeah. uh, you know, uh, w- you know, we were going to do that. But, you know, again, it, it's a it's a weekly thing that's, you know, it's, it's just tough right now. Yeah. Just- and, and, and things, you know, so whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's our that's our they understand. That's our little yeah. hi- hiatus speech. Yes. Yeah. So thank they you for understand. watching. Let us know what's right. going on. You can hit you know get to us on those socials. Mikey, what on are those social. again? Even that's right. Third see. person. Yeah. Third person pod. Um, dot com. You can get to us on the Google search of third person pod. Really on all this other social media is right in the comment section below. We want to hear what your what your thoughts are of the um, first eight of season ten of The Walking Dead. And again, just like Chris said, let us know what you guys are watching. Yeah. Um, Maybe it'll spark something for us to, to, to check out too. Yep. Again, thank you. Happy holidays, guys. If we don't hear from uh, if you don't hear from us, um, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. So if you haven't turned this off by now, uh, we'll be seeing you real soon.